All right, welcome to another lesson. Today, we're gonna to learn about meetings and hanging out, okay? The two things I want you to learn today is, one, I want you to learn how to arrange a meeting or a hangout with someone, so you know how to ask someone else. And I want you to be able to respond if someone asks you, okay? Those are the two things I wanted to learn here, okay? And first, teach you some uh, important words, then I'm gonna teach you how to ask it, and then I'll teach you how to respond it. Then in the end, in a lesson, we're gonna apply it together and have conversations. Okay, so look at this one. First of here, first of all, we have here to ask, or spørre, to ask, okay? We have two main ways that I put here that we do it. We say, um, har du lyst til å bli med? Okay, it's like, do you wanna come to, okay? It can be like, har du lyst til å bli med? I'm gonna put examples in the next slides here, but it's like, do you wanna come to, okay? Like for example, do you wanna come to the party? Do you wanna come to the restaurant? Um, those kind of sentences. Or if you want to ask someone like, um, okay, it's like, do you want to join? Okay, we ask someone this, like, for example, we use like the same thing as in English, like, do you want to join um, to the cinema? Do you want to join me to the to the restaurant? Or do you want to join me to the party? Whatever it is. I'm going to put like, more examples here. It's just like the two main ways you have to learn, right? So look at this right here. Okay, so I have put one, two, and then I have put some examples. Okay, so look at this one. The first one, how to list to the mer. Okay, first one I put, har du lyst til å bli med på kino i kveld? Okay, do you wanna come, do you, do you wanna join, do you wanna come to the cinema tonight? Or har du lyst til å bli med ut i kveld? It's like, do you wanna come out tonight? I'm teaching you later, because normally when you say ut i kveld, we say, å bli med ut, it's like, do you wanna go out? Normally in a sense, especially if you're, if you're like a, in the in age, like a late teenagers, 20th, it's like to go out. If especially if the context like in the night is like to go out to party, okay? So we say, or at least to be utikvel. If that was like in a context of, okay, it's Friday night, Saturday night, and like young people, that would normally mean like to go out party, okay? Just to so you know that thing like utikvel can be normally in that context, it's like to go out party, okay? So, how at least to be utikvel. So, do you want to go out tonight? And the next one, how at least to be till Oslo Helga. Do you want to come to, to, to Oslo uh, this weekend, okay? That's like the number one you can use it. Number two here is like, blir du med? Blir du med på restaurant i kveld? Do you want to come to the restaurant tonight? Do you want to join? Blir du med til Spania på feria? Do you want to come um, to Spain on vacation? Or blir du med ut i kveld? So do you want to come out tonight? So you can use both. It just depends on what you like the most here, okay? So the, the meaning is more or less the same. I, I can, I, for example, I use, let me see what I use the most here. Blir du med, number two I use the most. I think it's more like common for, for for younger people. And then the number one is maybe more formal. And then number two is more like, hey, do you wanna like, do you wanna join? Like, do you wanna join me to the cinema? Do you wanna join? Bridio Mapo, Bridio Mapo to Spain or something. Okay, do you wanna come to Spain? It's like a, literally like, the thing I used to was actually number two. Okay. So, and how do you know how to answer these questions? How do you know what to say there? To osvare, to answer. Okay. You have the first one, it is, how to listen to the blima? What can you respond here? Yeah, I put two examples here. Yeah, they had a listed. So yes, I want, I want that. Okay. And then you have number two, which is yeah, the hurt is proud. It's like yes, it's uh, it sounds nice. That the hurt is proud. Hurt is like sounds. Okay. Yeah, the um, hurt is proud. It's like yes, it sounds nice. Okay. And then we have number one. Uh, yes, I want to. Yeah, the had a listed. Okay. And then the response to number two, blir du med, can be. Ja, det bli, um, ja, jeg blir med, så so, yes, I want to come, or ja, det hørtes artig ut, okay, yes, it sounds fun. Obviously, there's a lot of ways here, you can get creative, these things, it's just like a basic structure of sentences to correctly to say things, okay? So obviously, put your own things here and then mix up what you want here, but this is like a, a base we have what you can say, okay? Yes, I want to, do you want to, okay? And then you can come up with things here and then have a conversation, it's going to be really helpful, okay? Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, okay. So, um, here are some other sentences that can be really useful. Andre setninger, other sentences that can be useful, okay? Look at this one. These like things that I put here that I use a lot, okay? When I, when I, when I hang out with someone, okay? Um, hvor skal vi møtes? Like, where should we meet, okay? Um, jeg blir litt sen, beklager. I will be uh, a bit late, sorry. Kan du ta med vin? Just a, a thing like if you want, yeah, you can put whatever you want to. Can you bring and you put whatever you want to? Just took wine as an example here. Can you come in? Can you bring wine? Skal vi invitere Thomas? Should we invite Thomas? 
Okay, skal vi invitere? Å invitere is to invite. Skal vi invitere? We're going to learn more about a future tense. This is future tense. Like, um, are we going to invite Thomas? It's like the, the future tense, like a question of it. Okay, skal vi invitere Thomas? Should we invite Thomas? Jeg har ikke tid. I don't have time. This last thing here, jeg har ikke tid, can be used for to saying, like, if someone asks you, blir du med på kino kveld? Do you want to come to the cinema tonight? You can say, nei, det sa det, jeg har ikke tid. Okay, I'm so sorry, I can't, I don't have time. Okay, so simple things here, simple advices for you to say in the sentences. Um, I want you to get creative with things, like I say always, and then put your own, your own twist to it, and then make it like, uh, like you would speak. It's important that you take these things, okay, you learn how to use it, and then you take it and, and you kind of use it as the way you would do it, not like saying something like, oh, the teachers told me to say this, I want to, so try to make, to make it your own things, okay? Try to, uh, I'm not saying that you have to, Everything should be different, but try to make it like the thing actually you would say. I don't know if it makes sense to try to try to do that. Okay. So what I want you to do till Monday, that I will at du skal gjøre til Monday er å lage en samtale. Okay. So I want you to make a conversation, right? So I want you to um, ask someone else if they want to hang out with you and your friends. Okay. Um, so like you, got, like you want to hang out with you and your friends, so you want to do something, it can be like a Saturday night, Friday night, whatever it is, make up your own contest. And then I want you to prepare some responses also so that you know what to say if someone asks you. Okay, so I want you to do that until Monday. Till Monday? It should be till Wednesday. Yeah, till Wednesday. I, I, I spelled it wrong up there. Okay, till Wednesday. So till Wednesday, which is the, um, the next lesson.